it's Jordan here from the Tech Gang, and today we're going to show you how to create a like audio wave thing here in Photoshop. Um, it's become quite easily in a few minutes. Done quite easily. Once you've created your new document, as I'm doing here, by clicking File, New, if you didn't know. Zoom in a bit. I'm going to use the lasso tool. If you don't see the lasso tool here, it's like a little thing there. Right, hold down on the third icon down, and there's three options lasso, polygonal lasso, and magnetic lasso tool. We just need lasso. I'm going to create like a little two bumps. Uh, or you can do three, four, whatever you want. And just so we can see it, we're going to fill it with colour. So I'll well, set the colour to black and white. So edit, fill. And fill with foreground colour. So you see, we've got that filled. And it may look a bit wonky, and we're just going to straighten this up using the rotate tool. That looks fine. And that may look, that's one, that's the top side of the wave. So now we need to go into the layers over here. Right click on one of the layers, or the one, the only one. Click duplicate layer. Okay. And you'll see. Now we've got two copies of it, of the thing. So if you go on to the little hand grab tool thing, pointer, move, and at the top you'll see a box that says show transform controls. If that's in, that needs to be ticked. And then on the image itself, to click like these little anchors, we need to move them down so that it's almost flipped like so and then move it up so they touch and then go back into your layers click on the layer that is on the top right click merge down now you've got all the layers there so it's all one nice big wave okay um, if we use the wind tool on this now it's not going to look very good as it does it from here and here which is not what we want so what we need to do is image, image rotation, rotate 90 CW, which is clockwise, which is the way the clock goes. And then we can do the filter, stylize, wind. Okay, you want that method wind, direction from the right or the left, do you want to do first, I'll do right because that's already selected. And duplicate this two or three times. I'll think that's enough. And then if we filter, stylize, wind, change the direction from the left or the other way around, filter. And we end up with something like that. And if you want to add a little extra effect onto it, you don't have to do this, but it looks now. If you go to wind filter, blur, motion blur, motion blur onto there. And there we go, you can make it a bit longer. Longer there. And if we go back onto image, uh, once if okay that. Image, image rotation. 90 degrees CCW, CCW is counterclockwise, and you'll see there we've got a nice little wave. And if you want to, you can create a new layer and fill that layer with a color. So let's say red. So red looks like so you can put that behind it. Uh, you can change the color of this to blue looks quite nice nice blue colour somewhere we can find one that's alright and fill that oops which one was that? on that um, change, make a new layer and then fill the new layer with the colour that you want and change it to overlay doesn't seem to be working well. But try all the different modes on here. And you'll get an effect that you like. Like that. 
not working well. It's metal effects, and you can also, I think that's all you really need. And you've got a wave like that, or you can add, yes, if you would have made it blue in the first place like I did on this one, um, that would look good, but I did it black. And we can make that layer black as well. And then that's going to be useless. And then we can mess around with it, whatever you want to do. But that's fine on its own. And it works. And you can now make different effects with this. You can put text in front of it or whatever you want to do. And thank you very much for watching. And rate, comment, and subscribe to the videos.